Okay, now that you have your instance created, gateway created, and the API tied to uh, 3D and MRP, let's dig into your specific catalog. So if you click on the catalog tab, it's going to bring you to a couple of different, uh, it'll bring you to the libraries page by default. Uh, I want to show you through particularly the catalog side. So. Libraries are libraries of things that you're going to access, uh, sheet materials, assets, fronts, HVAC electrical, all those kinds of things. Um, we'll cover those in a different video, but I want to talk about specifically your catalog. Currently, uh, if you click on your specific catalog, which has been cloned in to give you a great starting point, um, when you open this tab, it's going to default you to the products tab. Um, now there's different pieces and components to this. Uh, we'll go through each one of those individually but I want to just give you a brief overview of this page uh, and the navigation here. So if you click click on the X here it's going to bring you back to this catalog slash libraries page just dependent on which one you're clicked on. Um, but to access your products specifically and your settings specifically, your attributes, the, the things associated with your specific 3D instance, you're going to click on on your catalog. You know that that there will be the name of your company or whatever. So your fronts, this is your these are your doors. So doors, um, we'll we'll cover each one of these specifically. Uh, but these are the fronts that the system is using. Doors, drawer fronts, glass doors, all those things are here. Um, attributes would be the equivalent to your product attributes. So if you think in terms of uh, the things you set up in the MRP, these are your product attributes. Uh, if you expand those out, we're going to cover those more specifically in another video. Um, products are clearly equivalent to your products. Each one of those uh, have settings also. Glides, hinges, element determinations are when one thing happens, another thing happens or is selected. Uh, those are becoming less and less essential. Settings are your main catalog overall settings. We're going to cover those again. Sheet materials are the sheet materials you're subscribed to. So it's possible to have a bunch of libraries available but in your specific catalog you're only using some of them so uh, and they need to be subscribed to in your specific catalog to know that you're going to be using those I uh, will again we'll cover those in, in a different one profiles are are the uh, crown moldings different uh, toe kick structures that you're using Render options, um, less essential to understand. We'll very rarely even come to this because uh, we, we, you, although you can, this is also looking at libraries for specific colors. This is where you'd be using wall panels, flooring colors, uh, countertop colors. Those are the kinds of things that would exist inside of this. Assets are also pulling from libraries, but it's the specific assets that your catalog is using, whether it's uh, clothes, microwaves, um, as you can see here, cooktops, hangers, ovens, so on and so forth. So although they exist in libraries, uh, this is what this specific catalog is subscribed to and using. Now if they don't show up here, uh, and we'll cover these uh, again in more detail individually, but that's what these are for. End panels um, probably could be up here right next to, to fronts. Functions exactly the same way as the doors do. It's using, these are the configurations or the groupings that you're going to have them in that are using libraries. So we'll talk about that in a little more in detail. Um, but I wanted to give you a brief overview of how to get to your specific catalog that is then using libraries. So we'll, we'll talk uh, about libraries specifically a little more in detail. That is a brief overview of the catalog as a whole.